Hey guys, my name is Nicole. It is September 2nd, 2020, and I'm here today because I'm going to share my experience with EcuTech um, tuning and how it works to tune your car um, strictly online and remotely versus going to the shop and having someone put it on the dyno and do it right then and there. So I'm working with admin tuning down in Houston, Texas in this case, because uh, I heard really good things about Monsif and he's a VQ specialist. So I really trust, um, you know, him um, tweaking my engine and um, ensuring that it's not gonna blow up in the process. So, um, first of all, for the EcuTech app and um, to access the programming on your computer, you need a license key. And I bought this from Monsef um, as part of the tuning package. So he sent me uh, the EcuTech um, license key and vehicle interface that plugs into your OBD2 to gather the data. Um, out on the road and um, he asked me to take three different um, kind of sets of data so one was um, the idling at operating temperature the second was um, let's see if I can remember Accelerate from 40 to 70 miles an hour in fourth gear under 50% throttle. And the last is a third gear pull from 3000 to 7000 RPM. And based on those things, um, he can make the adjustments necessary. So um, I want to show you guys what the application looks like on your computer. So we are going to start sharing a screen okay okay so we want to resume here all right so first of all you need to download the ecutech ecutech app downloader um let's see if it'll open up here ecutech app downloader setup click yes so um, you need to install your vehicle interface and the license key. So next, next, software is being installed. All right, so vehicle interface has been plugged in. Now I need to insert the license key. That in. Let's see if my computer will read it this time. Sometimes it can be a little finicky. Um, we'll give it a second here. Come on. Sometimes I have to unplug it and plug it back in. Um, I don't know if this is just an issue with the third party um, that I had to use to download ProEQ. Since I have a Mac computer and ProEQ was formulated for Windows, um, I had to purchase Windows Parallels for like 80 bucks and um, that just allows me to do any Windows applications and anything else you might do um, strictly on that um, type of computer. So let's see if it'll frickin' read here. Come on. It's plugged in. Come on. Wow. Yes. There it is. Okay. So, um, 
you have your dongle, so that's the license key um, that you is specific to your um, car and your Ecutech um, programming purchase. So, and with those two things, you can next download the um, tuning application. And this takes a couple minutes. Cool, so it's already up to date. So we are going to just open it right up. We don't need to check for updates. Let's make sure it's reading my vehicle interface and license key, perfect. So um, since obviously I'm not in the car yet, I will just show you here how you connect your um, programming to the vehicle and um, how to get started with collecting data. So you would go to tools, uh, detect vehicle, um, click that and obviously it's not gonna show anything right now, but um, that's how you would um, get started. And after that, and you have assume that everything is connected, you would go ahead and um, take your data. Let's get rid of this. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Super finicky, okay. <laughs> oh. no. X out of that. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you what data collection looks like. So, um, this is the operating temperature um, peak. Oh my God, this is not going as I expected. <laughs> there it is. All right, so um, this has been really key for my car in particular because I was having a really tough time with the fuel trims and um, I learned that bank two in my car was running lean and I ended up having to replace my O2 sensors altogether. So it's been a process, but as you can see now, um, they're hovering <clears throat> both short term and long term really close to 100%, which is the ideal. I think, you know, between negative and plus 10 um, is okay. Uh, and it's not gonna throw um, your check engine light <clears throat> in that range, but the closer to 100, the better. So that's the idling um, as well as the fourth gear pull. Uh, right here, <clears throat> excuse me, and um, so after getting all this data, I emailed it over to Monsef, and he has asked me to redo my third gear pull from 3,000 to 7,000 RPM today, so I'm going to take you guys um, out in the car with me and we're going to redo um, this one data set and hopefully get the car tuned and taken care of. All right, we'll see you outside. Okay, so we are heading out to the Z now to fire it up and get started. Part two of the tuning process. But we're going to go to our Pro EQU app, tools, detect vehicle, program engine ECU. That's good. Check your ECU connection. ECU is present. So we're going to open a new data log chart. Uh, Monsip in particular wanted. Let's see, it was custom map G. Uh, vehicle or oil temperature, engine oil temperature. I think that was it. So, this pull, overall windows. So, this pull is. 
Hey guys, so it is several hours later than I anticipated finishing this video. Uh, I had some college courses I was taking online tonight, but it's 10 o'clock and let's finish what we started from earlier. So let's get right to it and I will share screen. And there's that. Okay. And we will open up Parallels Desktop. So I've already got ProEQ still pulled up from earlier. So to find the logs that uh, I took this afternoon, you would go to File, File Explorer. I don't know the Windows 10 very well, so just bear with me here. You go to Map Access Logs. Um, you would click the most, or in this case, I would click the most recent data log, and that was from 3.13 this afternoon. We'd open that up, and you can see from the engine speed, it was from about 2,500. Wait a minute. Just kidding. That's totally not it. That's why you check before sending it off. Uh, mm. <gasps> no. Nine two. <sighs> oh, <laughs> that's because I renamed it. I thought I had lost it altogether. So clearly I'm tired. Um, we would go to 30 year fall. Again, look for the date. You know what? I know I have it saved on my screen or my desktop here. So it's right there. Open that up. Wow, I almost thought I lost the data altogether, but we're good. Um, so again, just to double check the data log, and it's the one I want, I can just see that the engine speed was from about 2,500 to 8,000 RPM or to redline. And um, the extra parameters that he asked for are on there. So that was custom map G interim, as well as the engine oil temperature. So that looks good. The fuel trims are in good shape. Um, so that's good news. And I'm now ready to email this off to Monsef. Um, and I'll just be waiting for him to get back to me with the next step. So that's it for um, part one of the remote tuning process and for this video, but I appreciate you being here um, and I hope you come back for the follow-up and the end product. Um, and hopefully I'll be able to drive this car this weekend at Canaan. So much love, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.